Hello and welcome to the 10th episode of Design Education Talks, the collaboration between the team here of the New Art School and the Design Deducts podcast. Our guest today is Murat Germain. Welcome, Murat. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, great to be with you again. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Yeah, same here. <laughs> how are things? Uh, things are fine. Uh, uh, I'm, you know, I'm surviving. Uh, I, I'm doing more than surviving, actually. I, right. I, I, uh, I keep uh, w- working at the same intensity. Fantastic. So <laughs> tell us about tell us about you and your work. Um, in general, or what I do lately. Uh, what you've been doing, uh, and uh, yeah, your your photographic work, uh, your uh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, maybe I can start with uh, the generic information. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. My uh, work usually focuses on impacts of uh, over urbanization and gentrification. Uh, I focus on civic rights and participatory citizenship uh, concepts. Uh, I do uh, a lot of documentation uh, for the sustainability of uh, local cultures and also for archiving. Uh, devastation of nature caused by humankind. So these are topics that I'm usually uh, interested in. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cities are uh, arenas in which inhabitants shape their idiosyncratic mode of living uh, and their shelters. They happen to be the reflection of societies that erected them. Uh, So this is why I uh, uh, usually concentrate uh, or focus uh, on, on cities. Uh, because uh, cities are where people can be uh, controlled in a uh, in a better or maybe in a more thorough manner uh, by the system. Uh, this is why uh, a lot of people want to, uh, or a lot of states, I should say, uh, want to invite people to the city so, mm-hmm. so, so that they can control them better. Uh, mm-hmm. The technology is better in the cities uh, and, uh, and, and, and the grid and the system works better in the cities. Uh, and in addition to that, you can also read into a culture uh, uh, from the settlements they build or built uh, previously. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, so cities, in my view, uh, are like portra- porches of cultures in, in a way. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, also, um, I mean, when I do the, uh, uh, the documentary work uh i see this as uh, as a somehow uh uh not obligation but my my my, my duty against my my culture in, in a way uh, and i i also see it as a form of activism and and resistance at the same time because in turkey things uh proceed very quickly uh, uh including uh, uh construction uh and uh the the, uh, the the urban and architectural heritage uh, may get damaged from uh, from uh, this particular speed. Uh, so whenever you document something, you uh, maybe next day or maybe next month or next year you may l- lose that. So uh, uh, this is why I see uh, documentation as a very uh, important tool of uh, keeping at least a visual recording. Of mm-hmm, your culture, mm-hmm, absolutely. Which is why I, I call it uh, 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 resistance, uh, and uh, uh, I uh, see uh, these uh, uh, moves uh, like crimes in in a way. So, a documentary uh, for me uh, uh, becomes also a CIS uh, 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 Event, I mean, so, sorry, uh, act like uh, crime investigation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, so because uh, yeah, I mean, you you collect uh, uh, evidences uh, and you can present them to to uh, convince people in in. in uh, yeah, I, I was just saying uh, that I see uh, photographic documentation uh, uh, like crime scene, uh, not CIS, but CSI, I should have said, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. crime scene investigation uh, uh, act. Uh, uh, so I, I collect evidences uh, of uh, what uh, some governments uh, are uh, doing against the the, the 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 culture, against the cities, against uh, uh, our heritage, 
uh, of course, the the fact that I the, the, that I document those that does not prevent the fact that the, these uh, I mean the, this heritage is uh, somehow preserved. Uh, we lose some of them, and, but at least I I I, uh, I keep the possibility of uh, saying, hey, look, this is what we had, uh, and we lost it now. Uh, uh, so it's uh, it's like maybe a tale uh, that that needs to be. Uh, uh, transferred to um, uh, later generations. Uh, mm. Maybe we don't have it anymore, but we, we used to have it. So maybe I can use that as uh, like uh, 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 I can use it as as a uh, as a form of uh, uh, warning. Uh, I I I can, I can just say. Uh, hey, look! I mean, this is what we lost, so we should not lo- lose this uh, anymore. So we mm-hmm. have to be very careful. And here is the evidence. So this is what I'm trying to do when I uh, do uh, documentary work. That's amazing. Thank you. I mean, I really like the what you said about cities being portraits of culture. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I thought that was uh, very interesting. So what does what does a portrait look like right now? Uh, if we look at Istanbul's portrait, for instance, uh, we see uh, a very, how to say, un- unbalanced uh, situation in the sense that some parts of beautiful, uh, are beautiful, some parts are not. Uh, and uh, uh, so maybe there is a very asymmetrical face that we mm-hmm. face mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, of, uh, uh, in case of uh, Istanbul. In case of uh, some uh, other places, like maybe a very traditional uh, uh, locations, like maybe Safran Bolu, where there are beautiful examples uh, uh, of Turkish architecture, uh, the, the portrait is... Uh, uh, is maybe a little bit more symmetrical <laughs> uh, because the bad parts do not weigh as much as uh, the good parts. Uh, Istanbul, as I said, uh, uh, is is a, is a case. I mean, it, sometimes it looks maybe I I don't know in the morning when it gets up, it looks uh, a little bit messy, uh, and maybe towards the uh, Midday gets a bit better, has a different face, maybe uh, <laughs> a bit happier or maybe more en- energetic. And uh, uh, maybe very late at night, like midnight or mm. past midnight, mm. uh, we see uh, um, uh, a more, how to say, uh, isolated yet, uh, uh, how to say, uh, more exciting Istanbul in the sense mm. that mm. Uh, the, 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 the People do not occupy the uh, streets as uh, as intensely, and this also means uh, people cannot harm the city as intensely. Uh, so, so this is um, why maybe you, uh, 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 in, uh, at night we see a, a, a more a, a calmer Istanbul, which gives you a better feeling. So, so maybe mm-hmm. uh, the expression expression on the face is less aggressive. Uh, and is is uh, is is more uh, how to say uh, uh, is yeah it's it's just calmer and, and it gives you a feeling of uh, uh, safety even though uh-huh. uh, it's uh, nighttime. Uh, Istanbul is uh, quite a place. I mean, it, it has thousands Absolutely. of places uh, that it, it can offer to uh, to you at any time, and uh, you cannot foresee uh, any of these uh, mimics uh, mm-hmm. or. Uh, on, on, in, in the portrait of Istanbul, so so uh, it's very unforeseeable, uh, and I guess it's uh, for the same reason. This is why it's also exciting. Uh, Absolutely, because whenever you start to foresee things, I think it gets a little bit boring, uh, uh, and Istanbul uh, is very unforeseeable in that sense. Wonderful, wonderful. How did you get into teaching? Um. I when I came back uh, came back from the states after gra- uh, graduation uh, from from MIT, uh, the, there was this very close friend of my uh, of my father's uh, actually uh, uh, who uh, started to teach uh, at this very first uh, private foundation university uh, uh, that that you also know uh, Bilkent University uh, and uh, it was 
uh, year 93, I finished my uh, compulsory, uh, uh, I had finished my compulsory uh, military services. Uh, and I was looking for something to do. Uh, and I, I was not very sure about what to do. Uh, and uh, I uh, and this person that I just mentioned uh, offered the possibility of uh, starting uh, uh, to teach at uh, Bilkent University. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I got quite excited uh, because, you know, I, uh, I like to learn, uh, I like to share. So this means uh, I also like to... Uh, uh, teach uh, maybe teaching is is a harsh word in the sense that you know I know something that other others do not know and that then I teach them so I mean, I, maybe I should I mean, or we should change uh, this uh, uh, word I mean, I mean it's like maybe a l learning is a is a is a, mm -hmm. is a better one so, well, because whenever you teach uh, something you also learn absolutely teaching uh, and, and learning at the same time. Yeah, 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 exactly. So uh, you uh, somehow co-create the content in, mm. in, in, in a way. Because whenever you uh, convey a, a particular bit of information, uh, you also make your brain think in a way that it didn't before. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you feel like, wow, I mean, I'm... But I think this was sort of a nice sentence that I never thought of uh, because the, the teaching or maybe, let's say, uh, cooperating uh, or co-creating content makes you uh, open some uh, uh, boxes, little boxes that you have uh, in your brain that, that were never opened. Uh, and you open... Uh, uh, one or, or a few or maybe several boxes uh, uh, with this particular occasion. So mm. uh, talking, uh, co-creation, and uh, dis discussing things uh, always opens boxes Absolutely. that stay somehow closed in your brain. Absolutely. So how do you bring uh, your, your documenting and your sort of observation of the portrait into the, into the classroom? Um... Maybe one thing I can say, uh, I, I value the, the connection in between practice and theory uh, mm. very, very much. Uh, mm. uh, uh, and this is why when I do ac ac academic work, I uh, usually uh, channelize uh, this effort to my own practice. So, mm. so, uh, so that the, the, the practice... Uh, my practice and my theoretical work uh, uh, are intertwined and they help each other. Uh, usually, uh, I mean, in, in my view, healthy theory is uh, created uh, by, by, by practice. You first try something and, uh, of course, uh, uh, you also at the same time experience it. So, so you have uh, some accumulated experiences. And, and to me, good theory is actually uh, setting uh, good relationships between bits of experiences. Uh, 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 and uh, in order to be able to do that, you uh, have to keep practicing. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah this, this is when you're going to see the connections. And, and uh, uh, th this is why I also, you know, uh, get, uh, I, I still keep my professional uh, uh, part uh, active. Yes. Uh, I do professional photography. I get, uh, you know, uh, uh, commissioned assignments. Uh, I uh, learn how to deal with uh, uh, potential clients. Uh, I know the rules of the uh, uh, um, rules of the professional world. Uh, for instance, in, in, in Turkish, we say kurtlar sofrası, which means the table of the wolves. Uh, uh, it's very uh, harsh out there. Uh, so you have, you, if you can protect yourself uh, in uh, the professional world, uh, you can also teach your students or share your experiences with your uh, students uh, that you have in the, in, in the professional world. So you can warn them against uh, possible uh, pitfalls mm. 
uh, and you can, you can also uh, talk about uh, uh, client relations uh, and uh, uh, your professional conduct uh, uh, for instance uh, what i do uh, uh, in my professional assignments is, is that there, there, there's always uh, a brief uh, that they give you right so uh, i uh, try to uh, complete this brief a brief to 100% mm-hmm. uh, uh, and uh, on top of that uh, uh, in addition to the brief there are things that i also personally see uh, that i want to offer they never requested that uh, but but I, I think it has to be somehow part, part of the set that I'm going to give give to them. Um, uh, so I was I uh, I I call this uh, a, b- a bonus maybe. Uh, yes. uh, so I I always give a bonus to to my client uh, uh, so that they see what they want in hundred uh, uh, percent presence and also they see things that are, that uh, they did not request. Uh, mm-hmm. So this comes to them as a, as a surprise. Uh, so I think that this, uh, with this, I'm creating, uh, I'm trying to create a, a feeling of trust so that yes, they trust. Absolutely. And so they call, uh, call me back again yes. uh, for another cooperation. So, so these are things that I bring uh, to, 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 the, to, the, to the classroom. Wonderful. Uh, because, uh, edu- I mean, uh, academy by itself, is not enough to be able to survive in uh, in uh, in life. Uh, so so you you have to uh, tie it uh, to the professional life. Yes, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so, what uh, would you say to to aspiring uh, photographers to students? Uh, what would be your best your best advice for the real world? Um. That's uh, that's a difficult question, but I'll, I'll go very uh, very individual uh, here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so it's not necessarily a suggestion, but this mm. is at least what I'm trying to do. Uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, political figures in in my, in my family, so uh, so this is why I, some of my really great people I really respect them, and I'm, I feel lucky uh, to be uh, in the family. Uh, and uh, so these people have always been quite independent uh, of uh, of things especially politically of course uh, and uh, some of them were cre- creatives uh, one of them is, is a very famous poet and uh, the other is a great uh, one of the first female painters in turkey and and things like that so and there are a lot, a lot, a lot of authors also in, in, in the family uh, and uh, uh, so i think and my father by the way who uh, was a great uh, uh, theory person he uh, read a lot he had thousands of books uh, that uh, i partially inherited and i i gave the other part to uh, uh to some uh, institutions mm-hmm. who for uh, for uh, i mean pro, pro, pro bono because i i, I knew they uh, were going to benefit uh, from this uh and uh, uh, and he he, he uh, was not parroting let's say uh, what he was reading he, he always analyzed uh, things and he he, he had uh, this great capacity for analysis and uh, so he shared these uh, uh, analyses with uh, with me uh, uh, all the time uh, and and so i sort of developed this uh, let's say uh, free minded uh, character in a in a way and uh, so when uh, uh, you go for a career uh, there are always you know rules and norms and uh, requirements or requests and uh, uh, and things like that and uh, so so you somehow think uh, you go on a career path but this path is not yours by the way because this this path was pre uh, designed in a way and uh, and it was also suggested to you uh, because you, you know of of all all these norms and requirements and things like that and what what i'm trying to do uh, personally is that i i have never been a careerist uh, mm-hmm. and, and uh, i don't want to say anything negative uh, about people who, people who are careerists by the way but i i don't want to be mistaken uh, I don't look, look down on, on on careerism. It's just me, you know. I, I, I'm uh, uh, that you know. I w- want to. I try to be uh, as in the independent as possible, uh, and this is why I, I've been 
three uh, different characters all at once, meaning like I'm an artist we're, uh, cooperating with uh, uh, gal galleries and museums, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm, I'm a full-time uh, lecturer uh, at, a, at a good uh, university. And uh, I'm also a professional uh, photographer. So uh, whenever uh, I feel a little bit, uh, not necessarily depressed, but maybe a little bit uh, uh, oppressed is too much, not oppressed, but uh, let's say uh, I feel some sort of a weight coming on me uh, and almost uh, crushing me on one side. So I immediately switch, switch to the other side. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, this is why I don't have to comply uh, with all the rules uh, associated with all these uh, uh, free fields. So I, mm -hmm. I, I can I can say no to certain things. And, okay. and to me, uh, to me, I think the biggest luxury in life is to be able to say no whenever it's necessary. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. But however, what would you say to somebody who wanted to to specialize in one of the fields? Uh, huh. <laughs> what, what, what would be your best advice? Would you ask them to uh, work on their portfolio? Would you ask them to become an assistant, some photographer? Uh, would you ask them to? Actually, I, I think I would suggest in all of them uh, 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 following. Technology, uh, not because I'm tech freak, by the way, uh, but technology uh, usually leads a particular path in the in the sense that, for, first of all, uh, whenever a technology is developed, uh, it's uh, usually usually developed for uh, uh, state institutions, maybe for the army or for uh, I don't know um, for for the political mm -hmm. institution. And, and, and stuff. And uh, then uh, uh, after all these testings and uh, initial uh, deployments, uh, it, uh, the, the turn comes to, to the rich people to uh, try uh, the technology. Uh, and uh, uh, by the time it comes down to us, you know, regular people who are not, you know, uh, high ranked state officials or uh, army uh, members or rich people, uh, the technology uh, somehow completes uh, its uh, uh, process in the sense that uh, 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 it's been tried many times and there, there are a lot of experiences. So people start to write about it. People start to write. Uh, people start to uh, make the connections in between uh, bits of experiences. Uh, and so, so uh, there is a great text. Uh, that comes after uh, a particular technology. Uh, and it's at the time the technology, technology reaches us. Uh, so this is why I uh, like to uh, see uh, what the techno technolo technological advances are, uh, because uh, it's not only a toy, uh, a new toy for me to try, but it's also a new text, or maybe new perception, or maybe new presence. Uh, uh, that are also included in the in the in the in the package. Uh, as I said, I'm 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 not a tech freak, and I don't always uh, uh, vote for th technological advance because in uh, uh, as of now, uh, we see a lot of uh, uh, negative sides in technological advance advances in the sense that uh, uh, the technology started to. Uh, uh, follow us more mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, due to uh, surveillance uh, new surveillance techniques and cameras and uh, listening and uh, 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 tapping and, and stuff like that it's it's quite easy uh, these days to tap people uh, and uh, uh, one uh, uh, very big disadvantage in, in this that I see is is that um, the, the, the grid, the system, wants to uh, foresee our uh, behaviors. And, and, and uh, as I told before, uh, I like to, uh, I, I like unforeseeable things, like uh, in the logic of carpe diem, uh, like enjoy the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what's inside. 
uh, you can enjoy the moment only when you do not know what's going to happen in the future. And because if you know what's going to happen in the future, then you're going to start to 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 speculate about it. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to forget the, the the present. You're going to forget the now. Why? Because you have to focus on on, on the future and uh, uh, be prepared for it. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Th there's nothing wrong to be prepared about the future, but uh, I think there has to be a balance. Mm. Uh, so uh, this is, I would suggest, like uh, uh, in my view, uh, I mean, any minute that you spend uh, with a happy face in your life is a plus. So this is what I'm trying to, uh, to do right now. So I, I had uh, plans. I had uh, obviously some objectives uh, about where I would like to exhibit and what sort of work I, I should do in order to be able to do that and stuff. So I stopped all these plans. So I want to do whatever I want to do. Uh, and uh, if uh, people are not interested in what I uh, can offer at this time, uh, it doesn't mean I have to stop it. Uh, I mean, I, uh, then then uh, maybe, uh, um, as I said, this is why I keep the three-partite uh, life format in my life. If people are not interested in my work, uh, then I, I uh, write some text. Yeah. If uh, they're not interested in the text, then, then I do professional photography. So your, your uh, advice is for, for, for the students and uh, graduates to, do, to have uh, many, many activities and to, to be happy to enjoy uh, their, their life. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, and, and you have to enjoy all of these. Uh, of and, 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 and at least one of these, at least one, preferably all of them or um, two of them, uh, has to uh, bring some budget home. If you uh, some, somehow partially make a living uh, out of all these uh, uh, various uh, platforms that you are in, then you don't have to worry about uh, what's going to happen to me in the future. Shall I have enough money to, to eat and uh, stay, stay home? Mm -hmm. uh, so the, 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 this is also very important. I, I, I'm not a money person at all, but I, I have always been very, uh, how to say, uh, very precautious about uh, making a living. I, don't, I, I never intended to be rich. But I always intended to have enough budget so that I can stay independent. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> how how would you do design education differently? So photography and design, and would you is there anything you change? Anything you would if you could sort of have the freedom to do to change anything? Um, maybe I I should not uh, necessarily talk about change, but you know I have. Uh, some suggestions, I would definitely uh, uh, try to uh, make the environment suitable for more co cooperation among students. Mm -hmm. Students have a lot to learn from each other. Uh, and uh, if there is one-sided uh, teaching, it becomes teaching. But if uh, everybody jumps in, uh, everybody cooperates, then, then we can talk about mutual learning. So more co cooperation among students. And, uh, and, and, and I think that the, the teacher, whatever the name is, uh, educator, uh, has to somehow create this uh, environment. Uh, it's not very easy, I know, uh, because not uh, all people are uh, equally interested in uh, what what you are supposed to uh, convey, mm. Uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I would definitely um, uh, set a closer uh, and more frequent ties with the professional world, in mm. the sense mm. that whatever you do in class uh, may be somehow uh, par part of a real case. Uh, uh, I mean, what you do is useful for, some, for somebody in uh, real life. It's not, it, it's not only an academic uh, exercise, mm -hmm. but what you do uh, it turns into something that can be used in uh, real life. I think this is very important. Um, I would, uh, as, a, as a university, uh, I guess, in the larger scale, I would invite a lot of practicing professionals to teach part-time. Mm -hmm. Because professional uh, 
uh, professionals cannot teach full time. They have, uh, I mean, uh, maybe 90%, 95% of their lives, they have to uh, uh, spare for uh, their professional practice. But, but you know, if you invite them for maybe a, a, a class, just, just one class, maybe like two or three hours uh, a week, uh, I think they have a lot to offer to, awesome. to students uh, from, uh, from real life uh, or from uh, uh, professional life. Um, and if possible, of course, this is not always possible, I know, uh, but um, I would try to keep student numbers as low as possible mm. uh, in order to be able to have one-on-one. -on -one, uh, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Teaching relationship, which is very... Very important. I mean, I, uh, whenever you uh, uh, educate people on, on design, there's no way you can have auditorium classes only. Uh, uh, auditorium maybe comes in when uh, you have a great lecturer uh, invited to your, your, to your university and, uh, you know, maybe 200 or more people or maybe 100 people uh, are, are supposed to follow uh, mm. the, the lecture. But, but, the, but the periodical teaching, I think has to be definitely conducted in uh, uh, in studio environment where where you have I don't know maybe ten fifteen people I would not even get close to twenty mm -hmm. uh, where where you can uh, uh, generate this one on one uh, teaching. Absolutely, absolutely. That's that's very precious. How how can our viewers and listeners find you in your work? Uh, I have. Um, a website under my name. Uh, it's um, muratgerman.com. Uh, uh, that's one source. I try to keep it as updated as possible. Uh, uh, I did not design uh, the the website, or I did not uh, set the uh, uh, professional uh, how to say infrastructure of the of the website. But mm -hmm. I made the designer so. Uh, that I, I I can update everything by myself, so it's a WordPress based uh, website, uh, and I can update it very easily. Uh, and so I, uh, this is why I try to keep it as updated as possible. And uh, there's also a uh, uh, Facebook page under my name, um, which is exactly not the same, uh, obviously, as my website. Uh, it it's maybe a little bit more updated in the sense that it, people can also find maybe uh, some clues about my uh, uh, political thinking <laughs> and, and not necessarily sharing uh, a, a political news, but maybe s including stuff that I don't include in my website. Uh, and Instagram is always a good source. Uh, uh, it's probably uh, the most updated uh, part, which is... Uh, not the same thing as my website at, at mm. all. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, it's 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 like uh, I, for instance, I never include a series of posts in, in in Instagram. But whenever you check my web website, all the menus are uh, designed in a in a series logic. Uh, mm. Like you can see my series of works there. Uh, but in Instagram, it's very individual posting, Sections. and uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Wonderful. So what advice would you like to leave us with? Uh, <laughs> uh, stay uh, independent. <laughs> uh, stay uh, cooperative. Uh, stay smiling. And uh, add, uh, something very specific to these days, uh, stay healthy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It was great. Thank you. Thank you, Lev. It was a, a really a, a pleasure, as usual, to co cooperate you. with you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.